Hello and welcome to episode 20 of my RimWorld Let's Play. Now the last couple episodes were recorded a while ago, and I maybe have fixed this. Let's see. Are you working now? Yes, he is working. So now I can finally repair my guys. Um, where's the metal? Uh, maybe it doesn't need metal? Maybe it has some internal storage? Uh, I guess it's working the way it is, so that's good enough for me right now. Anyway, I updated the droids mod. Apparently it was a known bug that it didn't repair correctly. So I fixed that and they just destroyed it because I told them to. Anyway, let's see. Rib replacements. That's some new research. What else can we do? Um, I kind of want some more useful stuff, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's get a builder droid just to try and kind of fill out our droids and the having them do everything for us. That way we don't have to worry too much about it. And I'll just switch this because the roses last longer than the daylilies, so my people aren't always swapping that around. But I needed to get another one of those things, so where were they? Mizzic maybe? Yeah, repair station. I'm going to put that where it was last time, and then I'll even put repair station supplies. And I'll just kind of stick that next to it. And that should be fine for that. A deep storage unit? Does that store any random item, or only one type of an item? I guess that's what my question is. Um, For storing large amounts of items... 100 steel, 20 wood. We have plenty of steel, so I might as well try one. See how it works, since I do have... Well, not exactly the cleanest setup of stuff. Well, let's put it right there and see what happens, I guess. And we can accelerate time a little bit. Make it go a little faster. Let's see, plenty of power. Still want another geothermal engine. Or geothermal generator. So I'm not fully sure yet. Let's see, what can we store here? Um, judging by the fact we have a ton of iron, how about I say that is what we can store? Or not iron, but steel. So there, we can store steel. Maybe someone will come by and start putting that in there now. Oh, there we go. Oh, it does stack higher. Instead of only stacking up to 75, it's at 151 right now. Uh, pirate merchant. You know, I want to give more orders to all my people, so let's see. Make some more stone blocks for that crafting droid. I'll just say 20, that should be fine. I do have to kind of run around from these and kind of check to make sure everything's working. What's this, smithing bench? Uh, there's not really a whole lot of stuff that I need to do right now. In terms of maintenance. So, where was someone? Oh, Theodric's taking a nap. I'll have him contact the pirate merchant in a moment. Basic combat droid. He's just running around. How about we go put him in storage? Because that's where they work best. Um, probably need more orders for the mining droid, too. You know what? I'm gonna just wait around, throw around some more orders, um, wait until I'm actually sure what I'm gonna be doing this episode. It might be building more of the wall, it might be general construction, maybe just mining for a new geothermal vent, or I might even try to expand my base. I mean, over here is kind of okay for expansion, since the closest they could arrive is um, this wall right here, and then if I put some defenses I'll be fine. Maybe I'll even build a full defensive wall here or not. Um, as for down here, what might actually work as a solution to some problems is I could build a wall here, and then another wall here, and then it gives me all this extra space. The only problem with that is if they come from up here, then I'm kind of flanked. So I'm just thinking of about another place that I might be able to expand my territory. And actually, right here looks pretty well. Like, I could use this geothermal vent, and then I could have a defensive wall here. Or something. I don't know, I just want more usable power. Like, if there's a solar flare, I get really kind of um, screwed over since all of these solar panels don't really work, and they're a big portion of my power generation. And so are the windmills, but the windmills aren't that important. I guess my biggest problem is just the 
In fact, I want another geothermal vent, but I can't really get one. So yeah, I'll figure out what I'm going to be doing this time, just exploring around, making sure I get caught up on everything I was doing previously. And then I will be back when something interesting comes up, I guess. Alright, so realistically nothing has happened for a while, but I've been doing a little bit of work. I'm deciding to fortify a little bit more by putting a couple more steel improvised turrets, just just in case enemies get too close to my base, because it's starting to get further along in the game that we could get attacked by a, n a larger number of enemies that could really um, pose a problem. So, I'm just gonna add more stone blocks so we can keep getting granite. And what I've been working on is I've been building this room because I'm gonna do a second um, hydroponics bay room. So I'm going to be growing more food and medicine. Medicine specifically, since we don't really have a lot of that and it takes a long time to grow. So I mean, our food is alright. So it's mostly going to be for medicine and things like Devil Strand or Cloth. So that we can just have that laying around in case we ever need it. Secondly, I've begun building a wall back here. This is going to help keep the cold out. And apparently need to connect some of it to the network. Let's see, that should work. There we go. And this wall, of course, acts as an intermediate, so eventually, hopefully, it will level out and work the way I want it to. And of course, I'm just needing to add some heaters around to try and keep the various rooms warm. So this one acts like it's not sealed off. All right then. This room will probably be needing three heaters, just so that I can guarantee that it will remain, well, working well. Um, I wanna try something, because I've never tried this before, I don't believe. If I grab a second research bench, can I have two people do research at the same time? If that's the case, then I can start getting through this research a little bit faster, which would be nice. Let's see. DeWald is the only other researcher. That means who's good? That's four, and that one is six. So I suppose Theodric could begin doing some research as well, and just kind of remove his other responsibilities. And maybe they'll both do research at the same time. It looks like they're both working on it. Whether or not it's going to increase at the rate I want it to, I am not entirely sure. But time will tell, I guess. And now because I added some more heaters, you can see my power is actually... Maybe it's going down. Um, it'd really depend on the windmills a lot, though. And, of course, day or night, so... It's kind of hard to tell if it's actually going down or not. Uh... Maybe, maybe not. Like I said, I can't really tell when it's nighttime. Visitors, really nothing has been going on. Well, let's see. What about now? Yeah, it's definitely gaining during the day. But at what at a rate of how much it's losing or not? I think it's equivalent maybe. Ah, oh, well. So, I'm not really sure what to do at this point. Let's see. Manufactured, maybe? Where is it? I'm looking for... Oh, stone blocks. Granite blocks. That can be allowed in the second deep storage spot, since we have a lot of those as well. But, I'm not really sure what to do at this point. We're kind of just being limited by our research. And why are we losing power? Oh boy, solar flare. I wonder...
Hey, they apparently. Oh wait, that one's deactivated. Um, that one's deactivated. Wait a minute, why are they deactivated? I didn't tell them to deactivate, and I, I thought I got the solar shielded, sh solar shielding. Um, maybe it didn't help, or maybe they automatically deactivated to conserve energy. No, they wouldn't do that. Maybe it's just because I updated them that they don't know they have the solar shielding. That's possible. Oh, well, this makes it a little more interesting, I'd say. No, wait, this one's doing something. No, it's not. I clicked on the wrong guy. Yeah. Maybe they just deactivated to conserve power. Nah, that's not likely. Anyway. We have no power. Solar flare. This would be an excellent time for pirates to show up and destroy us, since we can't really do much to defend ourselves. Although I would have to look into something if I can't get these guys to have solar shielding. Then I would need something to... Well, make them survive, I guess. Like, if I'm going to rely my fighters to be these basic combat droids, then it's going to be very, very difficult to defend myself if all of my droids shut down during a solar flare. If I tried to defend myself during a solar flare, anyway. More random visitors just letting themselves in. I didn't invite them. But they, for some reason, think they have a right to be here. Uh, let's see. What I probably should do... is... try and close off... this area. So how about I do that, just to kind of save myself. Since it's turning into winter, it's gonna get very cold. Um, easily. So if I just build some walls to close off these areas, since it's not like I'm ever going to be going in there, let's see. Steel. And then I can actually make this act like another room. Um, at some point, I guess it could be another room. But for now, let's see. If that's four, that means I would do this. And then... That's not exactly the right shape. Um, it's quite a bit off, actually. Since the correct shape would be one, two, three, four, and then it would just be that. Okay. That would be the correct shape. Then what I can do is I can just go... Steel door, and then put one right there. And that mostly closes off this upper area, so I should be able to trap my heat a little more effectively. Again, my people are just doing, like, maintenance work. I mean, not oh, a lot of them are idle. They're just finding tasks to do every now and then. Alright, how's my food? Food's looking fine. Everything is just seeming to work out. I just need to wait for research, which is going, and I'm about to get it done, so... What do we have here? Finished antimatter reactor. Research screen. I was hoping that this, the antimatter reactor, would give me something else. And it doesn't look like it has. Oh well. Hmm. I don't really need any of the other things. Maybe I just keep researching the ship, see if we can't, you know, escape before we get destroyed, since... I, I know I had the mod that was supposed to let me, like, dig a hole. Maybe I'm just completely wrong, or maybe something's loaded improperly. I could just be a complete idiot, but let's see. A pack of man-hunting wargs have entered the area. They will roam the region hunting for humanoid flesh. Does that mean my droids would be safe? I want to test that. I kind of want to just take one of my droids and send them outside to see if the Manhunters attack. 
They'll leave the area in a few days. How many of them are the... <laughs> well! <laughs> That's only a couple. Just just a few um, wargs there. Hardly any. And look at this. They all move perfectly synchronized. That's hilarious. Um, they're going to destroy all my turrets. That sucks. But... Let's see if I can't let my people be safe. Let's see, zone areas. Um, no, I needed to go to overview to do this. Restrictions. Everyone, stay inside or you die. And I can't do restrictions on the droids, so... I might just have to disable all of them. Maybe. Let's see, expand the inside... To be... yeah, we just need to grow this a little bit since I have more inside now. Since I have expanded since the last warg attack, and I haven't really had to update this since then. So I'm just going to update it now. And clear some allowed area. I don't want them to be allowed on the walls, because that means they might try and open up the doors. And I don't want to have to just forbid all the doors like I used to do. So I'm just going to say they're not allowed on the walls. Um, should I say they're allowed in the mine? I mean, there's no real point for them to go into the mines, so... I guess saying that they're allowed in the mines isn't really necessary. And let's see. You guys don't really need to go into here at all. Um, up here should be allowed since I don't think there's any route that the wargs could take to get in here. It doesn't look like it anyway, so... Yeah, they can probably be fine with where it's at. Um, let me expand it a little bit more just so that they can... Like, keep working on this room area, I guess. And then the droids don't have restrictions, so... Oh wait, I might want to shut the doors down then. No, I was just going to deactivate the droids. Maybe not the mining droid. Maybe I'll tell the mining droid to keep mining or something. Let's see, they're allowed in here, not allowed there. Uh, this should work, I guess. I don't see why my people would suddenly do really stupid things. But, I mean, we do have Siba, so... I guess I just don't trust my people. So I'm just going to shut down all the doors anyway, because of how little I trust these people to, you know, do what I tell them, since Siba's proven to be really stupid, like running out in the middle of a fight when he can't fight. Let's go look at those wargs again, because they were silly. Just look at the horde of them. That's so many. I mean, can you imagine trying to fight something like that? And now they're just going to fight the uh, turrets. And it's going to go very poorly for them. Wow, you make a lot of stone blocks. Until you have X. Um, how about we just do 25 more? Because we can build walls with that stuff. There goes one of our expensive plasteel guns. Still have the other plasteel gun up here. Oh, and there goes the normal turret, which is going to actually damage our walls. Yeah. What's wrong with you? This one was like smoking. Oh well. Took out a bunch of wargs, that just means more meat when this whole ordeal is over with. So, yeah, not really... I'm surprised there's no raid, like... It took forever and there's still no raid coming in. I would have expected something to have happened by now. Escape pod. Oh, this is gonna be bad for them, whoever is in there. I have a feeling... Are the wargs gonna go for 
this person? No, they're not. Well, unfortunately, I'm not going to go for that person either. There are still a few too many works. Wait, is there only like five of them? Wow, my turrets took out a lot of them. There is only five. I might be able to fight that. Uh, but I don't really want to risk it. The works do do a lot of damage. Yeah, I think I'll leave it as is. Uh, not too much to do. I'm kind of tempted to just start like fully mining this area out instead of just these paths. Because if I fully mine it, then that would allow me to just like clear it out more, I guess. Oh well. Anyway, not really all that much exciting except the wargs, so I'm probably going to call this the end of this episode, episode 20. And I'll come back when either the wargs go away or something actually happens. Since not a lot happened this episode and I've kind of been following that path where not too much is going down. Which makes me feel as though the storyteller is going to end my life pretty soon and this is just the quiet before the storm. Anyway, let's see... A local warg has gone mad? Alright then. Aren't they all mad though? Like, how does a warg being mad make any difference than a warg not being mad? Anyway, this is the end of episode 20. Thank you all for watching. This is PTT GRW, signing out.